Margot Robbie of Tarzan on why she's not a damsel in distress I unconsciously shorted Margot Robbie when she made an appearance in the big short last year for a brief 60-second cameo, in which she played herself and explained the meaning of shorting a bond while sipping Dom Perignon in the bathtub of a billionaire's Malibu condo. It appeared that this was the girl who gives you the go-ahead to stare but then instructs you to shut up if you do so for too long. The fact that she fiercely played the sexiest gold digger in movie history just two years before in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, ingraining herself in the collective male desire, just confirmed my suspicion that she might be a brand new, extremely carefree super predator. Luckily, the appearance proved to be a deft little white lie in a film about large, fat ones. Margot Robbie was enacting her caricature, the playboy fantasy in retrograde mode, always in soft focus, when I finally meet Robbie in April on the Santa Monica Pier, I'm surprised, as in relieved, to see that she's nothing like the manipulative sex kittens that she's been so frighteningly brilliant at portraying on screen. Robbie suggested that we take a trapeze class together, and that's how we ended up right here, above the water in the center of an amusement park. Robbie, dressed for a workout and without makeup, appears like every third person you pass in Southern California, but prettier. This may be why she goes completely unnoticed while sporting yoga pants and a white tank top and her hair done back into a sloppy ponytail. She has the athletic demeanor of someone who played sports in high school, mixed with the graceful movement and inherent elegance of a lady accustomed to navigating the world on her balls of her feet like a dancer. She is smaller and more compact than I had anticipated.